Hello, dear friends in Christ. It's Christmas. We are still in the season of joy. Today is the last Sunday of 2018. Glory be to God. He has been faithful. No matter what happened during the year, God has been faithful. Today you are alive. Some people are not getting what you are getting. And so I'm here to talk to you about something that will make you appear grateful in the presence of God. I was reading 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. He says, Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us by calling us his children. Can you radiate that saying to your family? Are you a daddy? Are you a mommy? Are you a child in a family? Can you make the name of your family feel exalted and belonged? He says, Beloved, how God loved us was that he made us be called his children. Can you make your family be called by your presence, by your good attitude, by your good morals, so that when people see your children, they can say, that is the child of this man. This is the family of this man. This is the wife of this man. This is the family of this woman. Yes, because your life is making people call a name to your family. Today on the last day, I want you to bring back your family. Hold them and pray with them so that God will transform you in the coming year. If there were some hitches in your family life this year, don't transfer it into the next because the way God loved us was for us to be identified by him and be referred to him because he's a God of peace, a God of love. Can your morality, your attitude, your behavior make people associate you with a family? Can they be called by you as a mother of these children, as a wife of this husband, as the husband of this wife, as a parent of this child? Can you? That is what will make you look and behave like God by making your family be called by your name. That is how God loved us. I beg on you, bring the family together. Let us be called by you, by your attitude, by your good morals, so that in 2019, as we just about entering, I believe that God will see that you are just behaving like him and will bless you and bless your family. The Bible says he blesses families and not individuals. He's going to bless you and your family. He will bless you to a fourth generation. And may you and your family never lack because you be called by a unique name. God called you his son. And may you and your family be called by a precious name. A family of peace, a family of love, a family of joy, a family of harmony, a family of unity. May that be the name of your family because you are going to initiate it. Remember, he didn't say that, see how God loved us because we called him our daddy. No, he says he loved us by calling us his children. Take the initiative. May your family be a family of peace even as we enter the new year. God bless you and may the peace of God reign in your life and in your family. Shalom. I'll talk to you very soon again. Bye-bye.